Hi everyone, we're back after a, a bit of a break. Um, today we're going to talk about kindness, which apparently is the new buzzword. And as I drove over to see Grace, I was listening to Women's Hour Radio 4. Um, always a good programme. Always a good programme. And um, they were talking about how um, women in journalism have started to be uh, less nasty. And it Maybe because um, if you do attack somebody in the press nowadays with social media, they've all got their own Twitter accounts, they can attack back, which is, is probably a good thing. Yeah, because we've all got a voice now, haven't we? Um, and Huffington Post are doing a kindness corner or something. So, And of course, Country Wives is notoriously light-hearted. And they, and they said, I think, um, they said on the programme, so this is a quote from them, a small, uh, everyone likes to have a small hit of something kind, fun, mm -hmm. and we would add to that heartwarming. I think um, we feel that on our blog, don't we? If you can't say anything nice, we don't say it. We don't say it. It's like we don't do bad reviews. We only do reviews of things we've tried or, or our very close friends have tried and really, really liked. We just think, don't want to waste your time, you know, but if we do find something that we yeah, really like. Yeah, if we like, get sent a book that um, we simply just can't read you know after about page 40 it's just not for us then we just say Life's to the author sure. look we couldn't read it but I'm not going to write a bad thing about it I'm just not going to write about yeah. it um and so I think that I still regard being um happy um as something it's a bit like you feel so much more positive don't you when the sun's out if you wake up in mm. the morning and you've got a big day ahead of you, lots of things you've got to get done. Sun shining, you can get it done. It's raining and you sort of... Oh, yeah. You want to stay in bed. And I think that's the same. It, ha, sun shining, happiness, kindness, it's all the same thing. If we could all be a bit more positive. And all be a bit kinder to each other. Yeah. It'd be really nice. Yeah, exactly. So, we have come up with ten tips to make you happier. All of them free, which I think is always a good thing. Now, the first one is, smile at yourself in the mirror. Now that sounds a bit, you know, trite, but you've got to be kind to yourself. You've got to look at what's good about you and remember you will never look as gorgeous as you do today in the future. <laughs> That's true, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. Um, the number two is meditate. So all you have to do is just find a quiet spot, could be in the loo, <laughs> uh, could be anywhere, in, preferably outside, but just two minutes, just breathe slowly, deeply, and suddenly a lot of the world's woes will seem to disappear for a while and you'll just be calm and relaxed and able to face the day better. Do you want to do number three? Sm um, let the sun shine on your face. Well, that's... Yeah, lovely. It does. Just stand there and just enjoy the heat. I mean, it's yeah. that feeling, isn't it? When you get off an aeroplane, you've flown to somewhere lovely. And you, yeah. Oh, it's when God. You, the doors open, you walk out onto the top of the steps and that heat hits you. It mm. is... There is something. And all that vitamin D flooding inside and doing the world a good. So, that's really good. And um, my next one is, and this is a, a very good because it's topical because it's spring, is go and pick a few daffodils. Not out at the park or a friend's garden, but just a big bunch of daffodils and not the ones that smell of cat's pee because unfortunately some of them do. And then pop them in a vase and they will instantly, with that beautiful yellow colour, brighten up any room. Yeah, I love daffodils. There's just except um, the ones that smell of cats. Well, which they do. Yes. Well, then leave them outside. Mm. Um, do someone else a little favour, a little kindness, something to somebody. Every because it makes just as much as it's nice for them. It's it makes you feel good about yourself that you've done something kind. Like you know, an elderly neighbour offer that to, to go to the supermarket for yeah. them or to take them to a doctor's appointment or just something. It's yeah. not a commitment. Well, if long you're term, sitting, uh, yeah, if you're sitting opposite a friend and they've got a little. Bogey hanging out of their nose. I think it's good to say, you know, oh, maybe you need to just do that. Because or spinach I, stuck in your tooth. Or spinach, yes. Because I wouldn't like to be sitting there with that, you know, personally. Um, so I, I just think, you know, sometimes that that can be a real favour. I'm not. I'm. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think. Okay. That. Well, uh, another thing is, uh, another free thing is skyping a friend 
maybe you haven't spoken to or lived or moved to another country or another county that's really nice too because it's seeing them rather than just hearing the voice isn't it it's the I Skype think so I think it makes it as if you're actually yeah. together and I think that's a really lovely I thing I know because grandparents love doing it with their grandchildren when they're in different mm. countries so I, I yeah. agree and if they bang on a bit too much you can just cut them off and pretend that the yeah. connection got broken yeah exactly mm. pop out for a short walk jog or Bike ride. Yeah. My friend mm. here, she loves her bike ride. I'm into bike riding now. And Slowly. Um, and um, play a board um, game with your family or, yeah. or Wii game. Well, yeah, not... not. Not, not, not that kind of wee game, you know, WII game, where it's quite energetic. So you're doing something with your family or friends, but you're actually but doing I a bit of exercise. I to, think to, to play a board game or cards game with you, I mean, recently I've played some, on holiday, played some card games with my kids, and it's something that they don't know how to do. That and you can teach them. Teach it's them. Always a, I mean, a pack of cards is a great yeah. thing to have yeah. to entertain you. Now, here's a tricky one, but worthwhile, I think. Forgive someone who's upset you. I hope not too many people do upset you. You're always you. upsetting me. No, oh. she isn't really. She isn't really. But you know what I mean? If somebody's maybe sent you a bit of a sharp text or something like that, then maybe try and forgive them. But I also think you have to then take it on board yourself that if it is a sharp text or a sharp email, maybe then you've read it wrong. It wasn't yeah. meant. So you've got to think yourself. I think these texts, I'm sorry, we banged on about this. I'm not going about to go text, but yeah. how texts and emails no can be so misinterpreted. I don't like them. I think, you know, if you've got a problem, ring them up. Don't you think? And yeah, just... okay, all right. Well, how about then, say a neighbour has done something horrible. You don't have to actually go in, go to them and say, I forgive you. But you can, in yourself, say, I forgive that neighbour for throwing dog poo into my garden, which is what mine did. <laughs> I don't know if I'd forgive them at all, I have to say, but anyway. And, and the last one? Wear something from your wardrobe that you haven't worn for a long time and give the rest of the, the things that you don't wear away. I, I think that's, I mean, we could do a whole yeah, um, thing about wardrobes. wardrobes. And a lot of my friends are saying if they buy something now, they chuck something chuck. out. Well, when I say chuck, but, you know, recycle. But, I mean, you love navy jumpers. Can I say that every time I see you, you, you not every time I see you, but every time you're wearing a navy jumper... It's the Windsor one, which it is, means yeah. the Audrey Cashmere, which means, of course, that your other navy jumpers, you're just never going to choose them, you, aren't you? No, you because the they're not so comfortable and exactly. soft. And so you need to get rid of them. And, and covering all my bits up. Exactly. Anyway, anyway that's us for are. today. So be happy. Yes, yeah, be happy. <laughs> Bye.